They're all out of regular. So that's decaf. Friggin' Jersey. I hate it here. Your wife's from Jersey. Hate her too. <laughs> Two things. Number one, that egg sandwich is the last good thing you're gonna have for a long time. So you're welcome. Number two, for these Jersey detectives, I suggest you keep the whole I'm innocent, I was framed thing to yourself. Nobody gives a crap. Thanks for bringing him in. He got it from here. That'll be five thousand dollars. Yeah, checks in the mail. More Allard? What they think we brought in the wrong guy? Let's go. And then put the empty carton back? Who does that? Yeah, sorry. I'll just... I'll get one later. I don't want it later. I want it now. Remy, I'm sorry about the milk. It's not about the damn milk. It's about me having to tiptoe around my own kitchen every morning because you sleep to noon. It's about you not looking for a job and having zero respect for this place and my things. And what did I tell you about my vinyl? The disc goes in the sleeve, sleeve goes in the cover, cover goes in the cabinet. I have a system. Oh, I know about your system. Well, you think this is funny? That's all a big joke, right? Well, guess what? I spoke to your med school dean yesterday, and he's agreed to let you re-enroll as long as you do it right away and make up for all your classes. You're going back to school to get your big D. I don't want to go back to school, Remy. This was my decision to make. And it was a crappy one. You think I'm going to sit around and watch you flush your life down the toilet? That ain't happening. Not on my watch. There is no watch, Remy. I'm an adult. Then act like one. Hello. Yeah, hey, uh, uh, Isabel. Yeah, everything's fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, I'm on it. Call your dean and start looking for your own apartment because this ain't working. What do we got? Isabel's all the way up my ass. Four detectives all murdered outside a diner in Trenton one hour ago. Two were from Philadelphia PD, two were from Elizabeth PD in Jersey. They were there to exchange a prisoner, this kid, Laura Allard, wanted for the murder of a 69-year-old woman in Elizabeth two nights ago. Why well, was Philly PD involved? Kid was a fugitive. He fled the state right after the murder, but he made the mistake of calling his girlfriend, Samantha Morris, last night. They pinged his cell to a motel room in Philly, grabbed him, then went to deliver him this morning. So rendition gone wrong. Way wrong. Witness said it happened fast. Two shooters then snatched Bohr and took off in a black van. All we have is he's a 19-year-old college student, mother is deceased, and father unknown. Do we have anything on the woman that he killed? No, we need to dig into that, too. Let's stop talking and start digging. Sorry. My nephew's on my last nerve, and I can't seem to get a cup of coffee today. Hannah, work on Bar Allard, Nina with me, Ray and Barnes take the crime scene. Let's catch some damn cop killers. We have two sets of shell casings. The ones by the Crown Vic Max to a nine mil. All right, we need to see the security footage. Cameras are down for maintenance. We got a witness. She saw two males, medium build, faces obscured. One with a gator mask, the other wearing a motorcycle helmet. What the helmet look like? Black, full face. They took off in a black van. She couldn't get a plate, but she did say one of them rode up on this. You run the plates? Stolen out of Newark a week ago. Shenanigans food stand, you know what that is? Yeah, it's up near Heathcote. This is a woman Bora killed two nights ago? Her name's Rachel Sheldrake. Neighbor heard a gunshot and called 911. 
Responding officers found her dead on a kitchen floor with bloody footprints leading out the door. Any ballistics on that shell casing? It's from a Beretta 92, but no murder weapon was found on the scene. Okay, and how did your detectives know that Bora did it? Ring camera showed him running out the door with blood on his shirt and jumping in his car. Between that, his fingerprints all over the scene, and the fact that he fled, warrant was for first-degree murder. We heard he called his girlfriend last night. Yeah, she said that he claimed that he didn't do it, said that he was innocent. Do we know if she ever met his family? They've only been dating for a few months. She said that he hasn't seen his father or talked to him in 10 years, called him a thug, and said that he hated him. Did Bor and Rachel know each other? It's hard to say, but Rachel's phone records do show she made a phone call to him an hour before she was killed. Huh. Rachel had stage four cancer. When my guys interviewed her friends and family, they said that she had been really upset lately. Talked about atoning for her sins and having a secret to unburden, but wouldn't say what it was. Well, if it had to do with Bor, then maybe that's why he went to her house and he killed her. Possibly. Who did the prisoner exchange? My team, Ramos and Thule. They were young, rookie detectives, and they worked their asses off. And now I have to tell their families they're gone. Yeah, it's never easy. Sorry for your loss. Thank you. I didn't want to pile on, but she's got bigger problems than talking to those families. Yeah, like a mole in her department. Or Philly PD. How else would the shooters know when and where the exchange was happening? Manager says they don't open until 10, so they probably weren't here today. Yeah, I know. I was just checking yesterday's footage, and I got something. Look. That's the motorbike from the crime scene. I'm running facial wreck on those two. But this third guy they're talking to, he never fully turns around, but you see his high profile? Yeah. He's got a scar on his neck. All right. Ismail Magadov and Aslan Savzi. All right, cool. Hey, Remy. Hey, look, we got our shooters. Ismail Magadov and Aslan Savzi. Both were priors and both known associates of a gang out of South Jersey called Vassal. Vassal? Never heard of him. Me either, but our shooters were talking to a third guy, but we haven't been able to ID him yet. Who's running organized crime for Jersey State Police these days? Franny Banks, she took over a couple years ago. Call her, tell her we need a crash course in this Vassal. Have her meet us at 26 Fed, we're on our way. Vassal is a Chechen gang. Head is Anatoly Sabsi, came here in the late 90s, made a fortune off drug and prostitution rackets. But he's slippery and smart. We've never been able to charge him with anything. Who's the redhead? That's Anatoly's number two, American-born Vaka Markov, aka the Red. Aslan and Ismail down there are the known soldiers, and everybody's related. Aslan is Anatoly's son, Baka and Ismail his nephews. Seems like a pretty small organization. Yeah, they like it that way. Very clannish, have their own code. Loyalty, big deal to Anatoly. Police department confirms that Aslan and Ismail are not at their last known locations. Yeah, I'm not surprised. These guys never stay in the same place. We assume they have safe houses all over South Jersey. Is it possible there's another member you guys don't know about? This is the guy our shooters were talking to. Wow, I'm pretty sure that's Daniel Cariot. You know him? No, but I recognize the scar. I was briefed about him when I took over. He's a hitman. Used to be Anatoly's number two. Went to prison 10 years ago, murder charge, plea bargain down to manslaughter, but, but I guess he's out on parole now. You said Cariot? Yeah. Okay. Remy, that kid they took, Bora Alder, that's not his real name. What? It's Bora Alton. It's deceased mother's name. He changed it a year ago when he was 18. Now, when I cross-referenced the last name Alton with vital statistics and court records, I also got this. It's a petition for acknowledgement of paternity filed in 2011 when Bora was six years old. I thought his father was unknown. Well, that's what his birth certificate says, but according to this, it's some guy named Daniel Kadiev. What? Oh, this is him. And we have video footage of him with our shooters yesterday. You're saying he was kidnapped by his own father? ex-con father that he supposedly hates. Who are you people? Could you please just tell me what's going on, okay? I told you, I told you I didn't do anything. Bora! Stay away from me. Are you okay? No. 
No, these guys just killed four cops. Are you working with them? I'll explain later. I just want you to know that you're safe. And I'll be back. Wait, 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 Dad, please, please. Can you please not go? You have, to, you have to trust me. I did not kill that woman. Please! Dad, please! Okay, thanks, man. I just got off the phone with Daniel's parole officer. He didn't show up for work yesterday and missed his check-in this morning. We got bolos out on the shooters? Yep, Anatolian Vaca are ghost, and Barnes and Ray are headed to Newark PD to see what information they can find out on the stolen motorbike. All right, let's focus on Daniel. Talk to me about this murder he went to prison for. Okay, so April 10th, 2014, Reggie Benson was found in a barrel on Jersey docks. He had been savagely tortured, his throat had been slit. The DNA on the corpse implicated Daniil, so they arrested him. Seems pretty sloppy for a hitman, also very personal. That's because it was. Now, four days earlier, April 6, 2014, a woman was walking her nine-year-old in broad daylight when she was gunned down on a Brooklyn street. They never ID'd the shooter, but the woman was Miriam Alton. Alton? Same last name as Bora? It was his mother. Bora was there. He witnessed the whole thing. Miriam was also Daniil's wife. She never took his last name, but they were common-law married. So let me guess. Daniil wants revenge, goes looking for his wife's killer. Reggie Benson ends up dead in a barrel. Yep. Okay, but if they never ID'd the shooter, then how do they know it was him? Well, this is where it gets interesting. The prosecutor said Anatoly told him. So Daniil's boss knew what the cops didn't? They said they didn't care who told Daniil. They had DNA, they had a confession, and they made a plea deal, which is why he only served 10 years. So Daniil avenges his wife and preserves his honor. I just heard from one of my Vassal CIs. Her name's Angela, she's willing to meet. You, me, and Nina now. Add Daniil Cotty up to that poster and tell Isabel I want the reward doubled. Four dead cops. That reward's a freaking insult. Daniil. Salam. Look at you. I don't like leaving my son with your men. You're wanted for murder, and so is he. You know, that's not how it works, my friend. You've seen your son. He's safe. Now it's time for you to come up with your end of the deal. One does not come before the other. What's the assignment? <laughs> Always straight down to business, hmm? Luca. Vaha. Yes. I want you to take him out. Tolia, I just spent 10 years in prison. I don't want this life anymore. It's what you do. Not anymore. So when you ask me to take care of your son, saying you would do anything, you were lying to me? He would kill your number two. Your own nephew. Betrayal has a price. What's he done? You don't need to concern yourself with that. I would have taken care of it myself. If I could find him. So, you calling yesterday was a blessing. You've always been my most trusted bloodhound. Unlike this one. Always leaves mess. The car? Outside, blue Hyundai. Plates are clean. Now, inside, you will find a board and a phone, 500 in cash, to buy a weapon. Call me when it's done. The sooner you call, the sooner you'll see your son. Chin -chin. Angela, I haven't seen Aslan or Ismail in days. Not that I'm complaining. They always think I'm shorting them when they come to Clark. They're your pimps? They prefer business manager, but yeah. What about Anatoly and Vodka? Good luck. <laughs> Nobody ever knows where they are. I've never seen them in person. Angela, come on. You said you had some information for us. No, I said I was willing to meet. 
about fifty thousand dollars. Okay, that's a nice number. Somebody raided one of Vassal's stash houses, and now they're pissed. Who? I don't know. And neither do they. All I know is Crystal, like a lot. <laughs> Supposedly somewhere in Newark. Do you know anything about this guy, Daniel Kadiev? Maybe. You won't see a penny unless we get Daniel. So what do you got? I heard he's been telling everyone he's gone straight since he got out. But I also heard something happen. And now he owes Anatoly a debt. What does that mean? It's the Chechen way. I do something for you, you do something for me. Any idea what this something is? Well, Daniel used to be a hitman, didn't he? So Anatoly grabs Bora out of custody, and now Daniel has to kill somebody in return. See old habits die hard, don't they, Baja? Get up. Get up. Move. Thanks for putting my vinyl back. No problem. I was gonna tell you last night, but you were out partying. I was apartment hunting. The lady couldn't meet me till after she got off work. Hey, what's up? Upping the reward certainly helped. The tip line exploded overnight. We got someone? Yeah. A security guard at a 24-hour garage in Newark said that he recognized Ismail. The garage has their own security cams pointed at the building across the street. Now, this guy sent me all of their footage, and I found this. It was from a week ago. Vaca. Looks like a vassal stash house. Props to the security guard. Let's get someone over there now. Nina and Barnes just left. All right, I'll see you in a minute. Yep. Okay. Get out, Vachel. Let's okay, go. Okay, easy. Oh. Daniel, please. We were brothers. You know how this works. Huh? This is just to puncture your lungs so you sink when it's done. You won't feel a thing. I know Anatoly sent you, but you cannot trust him. He lied to you, Daniel. He told you Reggie Benson killed your wife, but he didn't. Then who did? Hmm? You know, men who are about to die say things. On your knees. <sighs> On your knees! Oh, okay, okay. Oh, Daniel, you have to believe me. Reggie wasn't even in Brooklyn when your wife was killed. I can prove it. Oh, whatever Anatoly promised you for doing this, he won't deliver. She has my son. And your son is dead. Just like you'll be when this is over. If you're lying... No, no, I'm not. I'm not. I swear. Let me show you the proof. Please. Please. Shut up. Be right there. You hurt my son.
Talk to me. Forklift operator heard gunshots and called 911. I checked security cams down the street and I got this. It's Aslan fleeing the scene of Black Mercedes, and two minutes later, here come Daniil and Bora in a blue Hyundai. Bolo's out on both vehicles. So this is where they were keeping Bora until Daniil came and got him? Yeah, we found cut up zip ties and duct tape by this overturned chair, and over here, one very dead fugitive. We got Ismail Magadol stabbed in the neck, one shot to the dome. Just got this picture pinned to his chest. If you look close, the man in the picture is Reggie Benson. Why would this be here? Well, the date and timestamp on it is April 6, 2014 at 1036, the exact same time and date that Miriam Alton was gunned down in Brooklyn. There's no way that Benson could have done it. I mean, he was 130 miles away outside a club in Atlantic City. So Anatoly told Daniil to kill the wrong guy 10 years ago. And now Daniil's sending us a message that he knows. Which means the deal is off. That's why he kills Ismail and takes his son back. It's a declaration of war. I recovered Ismail's phone, and three days ago, in the afternoon, Rachel Sheldrake was killed. There were two calls to Carteret, New Jersey, from Ismail's phone. The first was at 4.15, another 45 minutes later. The number was registered to a Joe Carnigan. He's a desk sergeant at Elizabeth PD. What's a gang member doing talking to a cop? Because we just found our mole. Either this guy has something to do with Rachel's murder, or he tipped the gang off to the prisoner exchange. Or maybe both. Barnes and Nina, head over to Elizabeth PD. and a drill down in the corner again. Ray with me. This dude's about to get his world blown up. Wait, what the hell is going on? Okay, you show up out of the blue, you leave me with the men who kidnapped me, and then, and, then, and then you come back and you start shooting and killing everyone? I had to leave you. That was the agreement I had with Anatoly. Hey, what a surprise. Your gang always takes priority over your family. Show some respect. I'm your father. Now you want to be your father. Well, I didn't see you growing up. And, but you go on a, on, a, on, a, on a killing spree and I'm supposed to respect you. I know I made mistakes. I know I was a bad father. But I did what I did because I had to save you. I didn't ask for help. You're wanted for murder, Bora. I didn't kill her, okay? Someone set me up. What were you doing at Rachel Sheldrake's place? I wanted to figure out who killed Mom. Okay. She called me out of the blue, told me to come to her house, and she would tell me who did it. And then by the time I got there, she, she, she was already dead. Okay, next thing you know, the cops show up. So I ran. I, I didn't know what else to do. You should have left the past alone. Joe Carnegie? FBI. Got a TV on in the den. All right, go around back. Yep. See this? Yeah. Red 92. Same as the weapon that killed Rachel Sheldrake. Come on, get inside. Fast. Let's go, let's go. Who the hell is he? Vacha Markov. My deal with Anatoly was to kill him in exchange for getting us out of the country. Hi, then why is he here? <clears throat> you tell him. Because I told your father the truth. Anatoly killed your mother. Your old boss killed mom. True. He found out I was going to leave the gang, make a new start, a fresh start with you and your mother. So if I was going to betray Anatoly's family, he was going to take mine away from me. 
Take me to him right now. He's gonna pay for what he did. But, but revenge is not the answer. If we're gonna do nothing, we, we're gonna let him get away with it? You want to end up like me? Spend ten years in the prison? I wanted revenge so badly I killed the wrong man. I let anger take over me. If you do the same, it will happen to you. Okay, but what about mom? What did she get? Because you shot her in the face. Dad, I watched her die in my arms. Do you know what that's like to watch your own mother die in front of you? Anna told me he needs to pay for what he did. I lost you once. I won't lose you again. We're getting out of this country, and that is the end of it. How are you going to do that when the whole damn world is looking for us? I can get us out. I have 50 pounds of crystal and it's only once very badly. He needs those drugs or he's on the hook to the Mukhana cartel. We give that back to him in exchange for our freedom. Everyone wins, no one dies. Looks like Carnegie was getting ready to fly the coop. Yeah, he's some nice watches for a junior desk sergeant. You know what's worse than a crooked cop? What? Nothing. Hey, Hannah, what's up? I just spoke with Nina and Barnes. They went through the desk logs at Elizabeth PD. Now, on the day that Rachel Sheldrake was murdered, she went into the precinct to discuss a cold case. Guess who took that meeting? Joe Carnegie. Yes. Now, he logged the meeting, but he didn't tell anyone about it. 20 minutes after she left, he called Ismail. Now, 45 minutes later, Ismail called Carnegie back, probably about a hit out on Rachel, authorized by his boss. Why would Vassal want this cop to kill Rachel? Well, I ran her last knowns, and in April 2014, she lived at 44 Abel Street in Brooklyn. Miriam Alton was murdered right on her doorstep. All right, so maybe Rachel saw who killed Boar's mother. Well, it's possible, don't you think? So if it was someone from Vassal, she was probably too scared all these years to say anything until she got her cancer and figured she had nothing to lose anymore. Vassal ordered the hit, and now we know Carnegie did it. Unbelievable. Bohr has been telling the truth. He is innocent. Someone framed him for the murder of Rachel Sheldrake. I just got a bolo hit on the blue Hyundai. It's at the recycling facility in Burlington. Nina and Barnes are closer. Get him over there right away. Copy that. Laura, get in the car. Get in the car. FBI, drop the gun to deal. in the back seat. You see the beard and red hair? Yeah. Hey, look. It probably fell out of that bag. Looks like crystal meth. Yeah, from Vodka in the stash house, right? Yeah. We gotta get moving back up some way. I just spoke to Daniel, Papa. Tell me you found that son of a bitch. He sent you something. But that rat Baka stole from us. I'll kill him myself if I have to. Gunner wants to make a deal. Drugs in exchange for three fake passports and 200,000 in cash. Three passports. One is for Baka. That First, he doesn't complete his assignment, and he kills his men. And now he wants to dictate terms to me. To me! Daniel knows she killed his wife. Baha told him. They said they'll keep quiet and leave the country if he do the deal. Papa, what do you want to do? I want you to set up a meeting. Take a look. When you see them, kill them all. Yes, Papa. Dad. 
Dad, I know what you've risked for me. Okay, I'm thankful, but we... We can't do this deal. It isn't right. Enough, Bora. Where's Anatoly? Only Aslan knows. Anatoly texts him on location when he wants to meet. Shut your mouth. You stay out there. No, no, Dad, we can't let Anatoly get away. I said enough! We are doing this deal, and then we're gone. You understand? Do you understand? I'm going to handle it. Right, so Daniil has vodka means that they must be working together. And if so, who's the new target? And how does Bora fit in? Anatoly wants Rachel dead. So he sends Carnegie over to Rachel's, who forces Rachel to call Bora, and when this kid shows up, she's already dead. So Daniil found out the truth, and the deal is off. And vodka's his quickest way to get out of the country. Bridge cam just caught Aslan's Mercedes on the I-78 crossing New York Bay. Look, he's heading south into Bayonne. I know that area. Barney's Landing. We suspect that it's a Vassal stash house. Well, good. Might be heading back to his old stomping grounds. Let's go ham. Yep. Come on, Aslan. Lower the window. I need to know you're alone. Come on, Daniel. I don't want any trouble. Let's just do this and be on our way. You see? It's empty. This is what you asked for. The money and the passports. My father's paying a lot to get his own property back. And I didn't start this. He did when he killed my wife. Fair enough. Wait, wait. Don't you want to check the bag? I trust you. We're family, right? down. Sit. We lost him. Boris gone. Damn it. Hey, Doc Security said one of their delivery vans is missing. The keys were in the ignition. Set a perimeter. Right. Where'd Boro go? I told you I don't know. Your son is innocent. We have proof that he didn't kill Rachel Sheldrake. We need to find him before he does something stupid. You get that? Yes, I get it. Okay, look, when he found out that Anatoly killed his mother, all he talked about was getting revenge. I don't know where he went. Okay, the last location on Aslan's GPS is 79 Marker Street in Westfield. Wait, that's where we met Anatoly yesterday. It's a vessel safe house. He'll have protection. And yeah, to secure the prisoner, let's go. You have to save him, please! I have heard nothing. No, 
I am totally in the dark. I need to know what's going on. I don't care how much or who you have to call. Just find out. Bora. You son of a bitch! Bora, put that gun down! You killed my mother. Put it down! New Jersey SWAT just pulled up outside Anatoly's and the van bore stole from the docks is parked outside his house. On our way. Almost there. Beyond the ready. You're not going to shoot anyone. Put the gun down. Look, whatever Put you your heard... your hands behind your head. Whatever you heard is a lie. Put your hands behind your head. Stand down. My name is Remy Scott. I just want to talk. I'm on your side. I, I need to do this. No, you don't, Bora. Listen to me. You told the cops you didn't kill Rachel Sheldrake, and you were right. We know you're innocent. You're just saying that so I can drop the gun. Anatoly had Rachel killed because she saw him kill your mom. He's the guilty one. Not you. Not true. Not true. Shut up! That's why he needs to die. He needs to pay for what he did. And he will. He will go to prison for the rest of his life. You won. You got justice for her. That's what you wanted, right? You ruined my family. You ruined my mother. You ruined my father's life. And I... 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 I I, I, I hated him. I, I, I hated him. What, what, what he made my, my dad do. I had a very similar thing happen to me, and I will tell you this. Make amends with your dad. That's all he wants, to be your father. You pull that trigger, that's all gone. You have your whole life ahead of you, son. Do not throw it away for this piece of garbage. Make something of yourself. Do something. Hand me the gun. Come on. You don't want to do this. Get up. Thank you. Don't thank me. I may have stopped them from blowing your brains out, but I will personally make sure you rot in hell for the rest of your life for everything you did. Cut this brick. Sorry I unloaded on you yesterday. Thanks for kicking my ass into gear. Needed that? And I need your socks off my Miles Davis. So I spoke to my dean today. Oh, yeah? How'd that go? Good. Um, he said that they can hold my spot for up to a year. After that, though, I've got to reapply. So... You're not going back? Uh, not right now. I, um, look, I don't know what I want to do next, other than just go on a trip. I mean, the furthest I've ever been from here was a baseball tournament in Cleveland. So, where are you thinking of going? I was reading about this temple place called Angkor Wat. Cambodia? I don't know, it looks cool. I mean, the flights are way cheap. Look, Remy, I... I don't know what I want to do next with my life. 
I just know that I want to take the time to not know. Does that make any sense? Yeah, it actually does. You know, after your father died, I... I was so lost. It was like everything I thought wasn't true anymore. So I wandered around for a while. That's when I found my way to the FBI. That's when I found my true calling. So, maybe this is your turn. So you're cool with me going? Cool. Dude, I am so jealous. <laughs> Not because I don't like where I am, because I do. It's just so many times in life, we don't get to start over. We don't get a second chance. So take your shot. Maybe medicine isn't your calling. Maybe it's something else. But you need to take this time to go and find out. Awesome. So, uh, you know, I said the flights were cheap. Look, I don't need much at all, really, but I figured. I got you. Thank you. I got you, kid.